It's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels, and here are your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave anything else behind, but most of all, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck. Gemini, let's check out your cards for this week, starting the 17th of April. And your overall energy here is the Nine of Pencils card. Now, this says get your focus in a positive place. Focus on what could go right. Very often we program to do just the opposite. But do what the angel's doing on the card. Look, she's not paying any attention to any doubts or fears or anything that isn't working. She's simply focused on the positive and what is working for her and what could go right. From the Time to Shine deck, the Six of Emotion says, consider what you've always wanted to do. Now, this is a card of the past, so it could be reminiscing about the past. It's a, sometimes it's, you know, remembering the past with love. But principally, it's about you doing what you've always wanted to do. So when you're thinking about that this week or you have the new opportunity to do that, don't let any old doubt hold you back. Focus on what could go right. The Ace of Pencils card comes in next and says, this is bringing in new ideas and new clarity, possibly new ways of doing things. And if we look we can see the first few shots on target have missed. But now, look, she's tried different things and she's hit the bullseye. So she knows just what to do. So this is working out what will work well for you and moving forward with that. And also listening out for new ideas coming in and clarity coming in to help you. Clearly, you're going to do that because we've got the 19 of Wisdom card here, which is the card of success and happiness. It's the card very often that comes up after we've overcome some difficulty. Not anymore. This is you jumping for joy and acting on brilliant new ideas. We we're talking about brilliant new ideas. It's all right having them. But this card says, come on. Time to take action on those. Your guidance here, ego says, don't let anything that's weighing you down hold you back. And those are things like self-doubt, self-sabotage, fear, guilt. Not anymore, look, she's left those behind in this bucket here. Because she's focusing, we were talking about focusing here. She's focusing on optimism, positivity, self-confidence, self-belief and confidence. Look, the balloons are so much lighter. And when she picks up those and leaves these heavy rocks behind, the road's clear in front of her. So they might still be here, but she's not taking any notice of them. She's focusing on self-belief and self-confidence. The Two of Wisdom card comes in and says, take your time and think things through first. Now we were talking about perhaps doing something new, something that you've always wanted to do. Before you rush off and do it, the Two of Wisdom comes in and says, think it through, take a step back, have a cup of tea and decide if it's what you really, really want to do. So just this card says, pause and just diligently think it through first. Just give yourself that little bit of time. Oops. How can we help ourselves? Back down here. Eight of Coins comes in 
This card says, pay attention to the small details. This is the card of reading the small print twice, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, taking care of all the finer details. This is beautiful that it's followed on from this Two of Wisdom card. This says, slow down, think it through. This card says, make sure that you know all the finer details. Take care of them all. And the 18 of wisdom says, don't let anything hold you back. This is another thing about leave, leaving behind anything that's weighing you down. The 18 of wisdom card, look, she wants to fly higher and faster. So she has to get rid of these things that are heavy, self-sabotage, negativity, self-doubt and fear. And when she gets rid of those, she's on her way. Flying higher, flying faster. So again, a mindfulness card. Stay positive. Very mindful reading for you this week. Get your focus in a positive place and really focus on this self-belief and self-confidence. Pulling it all together, the page of pencils comes in with some information. The pages all bring a message. And the page of pencils brings in information, brings in clarity. Sometimes it might be a slight change to plan, but that's okay because it's keeping you on track. So just stay awake. We were talking about new ideas and clarity coming in here. Here it is again, new information. Make sure you're reading it all. Make sure you know exactly what's going on. The Ten of Life is about quality family time. This is about appreciating the little things. It's financial security. It's peace of mind. So this is to do with finances. This is to do with family. This is to do with home life. Make sure that all the, especially with finance, all the finer detail is taken care of. Think it all through and make sure that you have all the information that you need. The final outcome card, the Page of Teacups, another messenger. The Page of Teacups brings in messages of positive new emotions coming in to find you. Messages of love, messages of appreciation. Sometimes it can be somebody coming in new to your life, a new friend, a new acquaintance who brings along with them joy and happiness and love. This also says trust your intuition. Go within. We're talking about that here. Go within. How do things feel? Does it feel right? Does it fill you with joy and enthusiasm? In which case, that's great. If there's any little doubt or not quite sure, look into things again. So here we have more information coming in, joy and love and happiness. And the final outcome card is lovely. This is a card you're clearly going to take notice of all of this. This is the card of celebration. It's gratitude. It's you being appreciated for everything you do and everything you are. And it's time for you to step back and say, Thank you. Receiving with grace and gratitude. Very easy to always be the giver. And it's really important that we receive in equal measure. So let's just look at the cards overall. A very mindfulness week for you this week. Asking you to stay positive. Focus on what could go right. Focus on confidence and self-belief, leaving behind anything that's weighing you down and holding you back. New information coming in, new clarity coming in, new ideas coming in. Pay attention to them all. Trust your intuition. 
and think everything through. Pay attention to all of the small details, especially where finances, family and home life are concerned. And when you do all of that, the success is here, the new ideas are here for you. And here you are being appreciated, a time for celebration and success. The celebration is here when you take notice of the mindfulness first. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring. Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference to me when you do. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now and I'll see you soon. Thank you.